this screw is a stainless steel screw and the price are higher than any screw that I order. I gave it a try, although I have already finished the installation. The screw head size is 2.69mm. The holding area is 77%. It's increased 29% compared to Rewit 48%. This is the best I got so far and I can feel the screw can hold even tight compared to type E. It is frustration when I found this out at this moment. But for the best outcome and to have the top of the top result, I decided to redo the installation and change all the type E screw to type F. Another long journey to go for the perfection that I want to achieve. After I've changed all the screw to type F, I continue to do tuning and read alignment. As the gap between the slot and reads are small, you need to adjust it very carefully to make sure the reads are able to go through the slot without hitting on the read plates. Sometimes I need to spend an hour to do the alignment for one single read in order to make sure it can sound correctly and smoothly. I enjoy this process as I know every single note that I have adjust the conditions are in tip top. After the tuning and reads alignment, we'll continue to do the gapping. This process is very important as we want to have a balanced playing feeling on each octave. As you can see, low octave reads are longer and it getting shorter when it when the notes are high. So we need to adjust the gapping properly in order to make sure every read can sound properly. As mentioned early in my video, some of the new harmonica that I bought, it has some gapping issue and you need you can feel some of the notes can sound easily but some are not and maybe it will jam or we call it response delay. So you need to adjust the gapping to correct the angle. If the gapping are too low, the response might be delayed or no sound. If you adjust it too high, you are unable to play softly on the soft articulation and it also has air leak issue. When you adjust the gapping, please be gentle because if you push too hard on the reeds, the reeds will be broken or out of shape and you need to replace with a new reed. In order can let you play soft and loud without any issue, you need to adjust the reed to the correct angle. It is hard to show what is the correct angle but the best way to determine the correct angle is to try it out yourself until you satisfy. You can find a lot of online video regarding how to do the gapping. If we go into detail, actually all the harmonica player has different playing style and technique. Some are using tongue block, some using parker, some playing softly, some playing normally, and some playing very hard. If you know your playing style, it will be easy to adjust the right angle to suit your playing style. After adjust the gapping, I do another deep cleaning for half an hour and I also clean my silver harmonica to ready for the testing. On how to clean the replate and harmonica, you can also refer to my previous video. After the testing, I will readjust and fine tune it to the optimum level. Why I want to do so? Because this final process is very important as I am a professional harmonica player. I do play a lot of different style and technique repertoire and this will determine different style of repertoire need different requirement on the technique to handle it. So it, it is important to test it out the rebuild customization replay is it able to handle all these challenge for example. If I play harmonica compositions like Michael Spiwasowski harmonica concerto, Romanian fantasy, or period and dance, I will try on all the phrasing out to see whether it can handle all the articulation and technique that needed in this repertoire. 
I will also try on the Bacanini La Campanella to see the response is quick enough to handle the fast phrasing. Of course, on a soft and slow tempo, uh, on a soft and slow tempo repertoire like Bach A on the G string, the Swam, Schubert Sonata in A minor, London Dirty Day, Over the Rainbow or Sand in the Crown, or Golden Girl. To see the ending note is it able to land it softly and nicely. Besides, on some lovely Irish tune like Irish Medley from James Moody, traditional Irish Medley, we'll see if different tempo and articulation the read is it able to handle. And finally, I will try on the double stop note to make sure both notes are balanced, like Bavarian Woodpecker the Red Frame, or Rhapsody in Blue, or the move Movement. As you can see, the whole customization process is very complicated, and it really needs a lot of patience and passion to build these things. As a conclusion, there are three important steps in the whole customization process. First, to build, you need to know how to rebuild this. And second, to test, you need to find out where is the problem and then fix it. Third, to fine tune it, you need to fine tune it until your expectations. The three process is a must and it's just like the movie Ford vs Ferrari building engine scene. That's the problem. Over 90. Air's getting in. Not getting out. It's the nose. Feel it in the wheel. Mr. Miles, if there's a problem, the computer will find it. Oh. We are not only need to know how to build, and we also need to know how to test and fine tune it to the best conditions. I summarize all the 16 steps that I have done, and what kind of improvement had got from all this process. First, replate flat to improve air tightness between replate and comb. Second, embossing for quick response on reeds. Third, polish reed to enhance reed swing smoothness. Fourth, waterproof valve to prolong playing time. Fifth, fixing screw and washer to enhance gripping area and stability on the reeds. Sixth, tuning to get the correct tone for 48 notes. Seven, adjust alignment to achieve reeds top performance. Eight, fine tune reeds capping to get balance playing on three octave. Nine, final test to make sure it is up to top standard. It is my concept and all my performance experience to rebuild this customization replay to all the master harmonica player in the world. If you have any questions or any inquiry, please do not hesitate to write me an email at owenharmonicaoutlook.com or visit my website www.owenharmonica.com or text me in my Facebook Messenger. I can do the customization to suit your needs. Thank you for support and watching. Please share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.